What is up the world? Welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. We are once again at the swamp. And the plan for today is we are going to get one of those lovely new ore crates. And I also need to try and farm up as much peat as I can possibly get. Because I need a lot of it for what I've got planned. Alright, here we go. So this is how you get lead in the game. In the swamp zones there are these things. They are called drilling rigs and you turn it on with a car battery and once you do it summons zombies to attack you. Now I'm not sure if it summons zombies in the zone or if it spawns new zombies. Well I know for certain it spawns new zombies. Okay let's switch to... We're taking a lot of damage here. Okay. Ah this is scary. Make sure you've got guns with mods on or just do the yellow zone one. Like, kill those ones. Oh, the carrion zombies are the worst. Okay, um, I've only ever done the yellow zone one before. It wasn't that brutal. That was just the first wave. What? I haven't got any more medkits on me. Okay, we need to not let them get too on top of us like before. Yeah, so I think before it summoned all the zombies in the area as well. I'm going to try and grab some medkits. Right, yep. Couldn't get him in time. Getting attacked. Die, zombies, die! Okay, yeah, this is a lot of work. Make sure you have got some good guns if you're doing this. And don't get hemmed in. Try and clear out the area around the ore crate first. Right, got four medkits left. Dying. Oh, we're down to... And to three med kits, we can do this. Just got to make sure we're killing the carrion. Because they are the worst ones here. Like toxic spitters, but they do 20 per hit. Oh, and I'm getting thirsty. Okay, there's an AI guy. What have you got on you? You got some peat and some sulfur. I'll take that. Okay, this should be the last wave of zombies now. It seems like... Yeah, I just needed to clear out the area around the ore crate first, and it would have been better. But here we go. Can I have my lovely ore crate, please? Oh, hello. Give me a lone carrion. And boom! Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, 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 no. Ah! Leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Oh, that was close. Okay, medkits please now. Okay, I now have medkits. I still haven't actually got any, like, food or water, so there's a chance I may die, but... Ooh, hello. If we can open a box somewhere, we should be able to get some... some water just straight out of it, and I think there was actually some bottled water in this box over here, if we're lucky. Ooh, that was fun. Hello, people. Welcome back to Last Day on Earth. Come on, let's just grab this quickly. No, nope, don't want that. I want. Nope, there was a bandage. Awesome. Mm, that was a bane. Now, unfortunately, you can only carry one ore crate on your ATV at a time, despite the ATV being about four times bigger than your chopper. And you also can only take four items on your ATV for now. It looks like we'll be able to take eight, but still. That's the same as the chopper. It should be a lot more than that. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Boom. I mean, this just back storage compartment is the size. So, for these wheels here. This is the size of your chopper. It's ridiculous. Right, let's try and get something to stop us from dying. But yay, we got the ore crate. Go us. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Oh, and we are also wearing... A lovely ghillie armor, which did not do at all well in that. It got absolutely shredded to bits. Knew I should have worn SWAT. Thank you, whoever told me to wear the ghillie armor. It was a great tip. Kevlar and SWAT are miles better. Okay, where is all of the boxes? Where are all the boxes? Not where is. Speak English properly. I don't actually know more, come on. 
There should be five or six boxes in this zone. There we go. Right, please. Ah, we've got two boxes here. And we are on four water. Give me some water. Beans, that'll do for a second. Excellent. Right, I'm thinking jump into another quick time lapse of some resource farming and then I'll meet you back at my base. I ran into a slight problem. I forgot to get my mic recording. So as you will have just seen, I opened up a red ticket box in uh, Bunker Alpha. That is because in order to open the ore crate, you need to stick it in the acid bath with five acid and a car air filter. And unfortunately, I had used all of my car air filters to pay off the raiders and I didn't realize I had none left. So I had to go and open one of those lovely ticket boxes to get some and I figured whilst I was over here in case I didn't get one in there I might as well open some of these as well so let's start with the blue one and our blueprint for the day is the drum magazine for the Uzi and our rare one is the Atpial one for the VSSSSSS which is pretty good but most importantly we're getting some Uzis and a flare gun and what gun do we get in there M16 no Glock you know what we might as well take all of these Wonderful, and I will do my best to remember to come back and get all of that. Now, as you can see in my inventory, I have got 134 ash planks. I have also got 74 peat. I have 32 sprouts, and I have 20 normal ash planks. Now, what we're going to be doing next is a mix of decorating my base and completely renovating my base. Kind of. So, I've got that big section out the front of my base which is just empty and I kind of want to enclose it and have all of my workbenches out there and then rip a little hole in the back of my base where I've got wooden floors and have my garden beds in that section. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. I just feel like it. I think I should have enough resources. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it into steel it's probably only going to be upgraded to stone and then i'll start the process of stealing it we'll have to wait and see but i think first up we need to make our lovely decorations so uh, i'll just show you quickly what i'm doing this section here is going to be enclosed i'm going to move my garage to there and this section is going to get filled with the dog crate and all my workbenches this section is going to get ripped up and is just going to have some nice decorative things in there. Right. So, what do I actually need? Let's start out with a bit of inventory space. So, goodbye. Guns and other assorted... Oh, no, I need... That was what I was doing first, wasn't it? Gimme. Thank you. Air filter. Trunk. Trunk? Truck. Whatever that thing's called. ATV. There we go. Right. So, our lovely ATV is chilling out here with our ore crates on the back. So I have tested this as I've opened, I think three ore crates now. And the ore crate does give you more from the red zone instead of the yellow zone. Now we've got our ore crate in there and we throw in five acid and one air filter. And that will take one hour, just like the acid bath. And isn't that beautiful? Right then. Now, I guess we'll actually start building our lovely new decorations. Let's pee on the floor quickly. Oh, and as soon as we're peeing, we're thirsty. You know what? Two birds and one stone. Nothing wrong with that. It's a survival game after all. You do what you can. Okay, so we want to... Let's just go through one by one, I think. 
and let's make ourselves a tire flower bed. So we want three truck wheels, 15 mushrooms and 30 plant fibers. I've definitely got the truck wheels, 100%. I have got quite a few of these. Uh, mushrooms I might have to grab from my inbox. Yes, and plant fibers as well. Okay, so it turns out I haven't got any mushrooms in my inbox at the moment, so I'll have to run over to the oak zone and actually get some. Now we need 10 glue and uh, uh, 20 glue and 10 tape. So a tape is all stored in this box. Oh, I'm running low on tape. Can't be having that. And I think my glue is here. Yes, it is. So here we go. We have a spruce tree. And let's get this lovely tree placed down. Boom. So max. Oh, we can have three spruce trees. Lovely. Next up, we want to get the outdoor toilet. Five steel plates, 20 oak and 18 nails. That's a bit of an odd recipe. Not sure why we're using steel plates to make an outdoor toilet, except for the fact that it looks like it was made in Shrek. Therefore, we are doing it because, as I'm sure you're all aware, Shrek is in fact love as well as life. Right, place on ground, max one. Um, that's weird, it takes up, oh, it takes up two squares. Right then, let's go and see if we can actually interact with our toilet. It'd be cool if we can make some form of fertilizer with it. Or is it just purely decorative? Let's see. Kevin, what is the point of this? Oh, I love it. That's so good. <laughs> Dies on me. Don't disturb me on the toilet. And let's go one more time. Oh, please say. Oh, <laughs> oh now we actually. <laughs> Why? What is the point of that? Just endless ability to go and poop right bath with flowers let's get this one made and we're gonna need mushrooms for that one so we want some plant fibers we want 60 bottles of water that is quite a bit of water <gasps> i'm gonna have to salvage from there and we want some bricks as well i'm just trying to get my base as beautifully decorative as possible because the one thing i've wanted in this game for a long time because I'm a little bit of a loser it was more decorative items boom we have ourselves a decorative pond and it takes up how many squares does it take up it takes up only one square which is good let's chuck our pond there for now because this is not going to be the final layout of our new base and oh oh we need this 20 hammers now I don't think we have got 20 hammers I don't think no we have got nine hammers okay and we can't make hammers can we well it looks like we cannot build every single new decorative item yet and you know what I'm, I'm impatient now I want to get a couple more box upgrades done since we don't need to use too much of the actual iron um, ash for building all these decorative things. So we're going to go for, I think, probably... What should we do? So we've got our um, luxury items box here. I'm thinking, do we do another upgrade to this one? I'm thinking we do. Look at that. That's so nice. And then, hang on. Can we do it again, actually? Have we got everything we need? We do. Do we do it to this one? I'm going to need to think about this for a second. Right, so we can either upgrade this one and have stacks of 35, 
and then upgrade them even more and get stacks of 40 in our lovely items box. And we are slowly getting more space in here. So we can do one upgrade. Or do we upgrade our other luxury items box? I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. Because all of this stuff I am going to be using. So I'm going to be doing Blackport PD with entirely landmines and some grenades is the plan. Well, I'll do my best at least. What do we do? Hmm. Yeah, let's go for this one. Keep upgrading this box. Boom. Look at that. That is nice. And look how much extra storage space we've got in here now. Three and a half rows. What have we got three and a half rows of? Nothing yet. Okay. Right, now just actually to the building the base part, I think. I'm going to do this as a nice little time lapse. I do hope you will enjoy. I'm also, what's that, is time lapsing? Going to watch some QI, I think. Alright, I'm back. So, I've done a bit of work. I'm not too happy with the layout 
as such, but I've kind of run out of pine planks, so can't really finalize it. I just need to upgrade one, two, three, four, five more walls slash doors, and then I'll be able to kind of be happy with it. But for that, I need pine planks, which I kind of have no more of. How many? We've got eight ash logs left, I think, unless I've chucked some more. Ooh, I might. There is a chance that we might actually have. Nope, I haven't got enough. We have 22 ash. Okay. Well, we are well on our way. And in my back garden section here, I've got a lovely tree. I have a pond. I've got my toilet. And I have two farms guided by a scarecrow to scare all the birds away. And I have a quick access door up here, which leads all the way down to a door that I've blocked on my gunsmith bench. Okay, well, that will need adjusting. Oops. I can't believe I've done that. And there's not really anywhere I can actually put my gunsmith bench, because everywhere I put it, unless I put it in my safe room, which I'm not going to do, because I love my safe room of safes. Just because it's a safe room full of safes. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that can stay there for now, I guess. So, I'll give you a quick show around of what I've done. So, upgraded to stone all the way around. I have connected door here to my acid bathroom which goes out here to my bait just for raids and that is how I will now get out to the front of my base and if I want to get to my ATV I will now have to go all the way out there and down it's basically the same as it was before to get for my chopper from my front door it's just over here oh hello pet zombie I might actually try and capture some zombies considering it put them inside a little stone room keep them as my own yeah, and then I've just got a little pile of engines and generators that I'm waiting to trade in with Jane. Now, I think I should have another one of these somewhere, but I think I've probably deleted or destroyed it at some point. Oh, there's a fast biter over there. Oh, that's a roaming zombie. Oh yeah, and the other day I upgraded all of these internal walls to level 2 as well, because apparently I felt like wasting up my stored supply of planks. Yeah. And this is how we look now. Can we... No, we can't zoom out any further. But yeah, we have this lovely area. I'm not going to try and upgrade it to steel. I'm going to try and keep this area as just a nice little stone enclosure. I want to get all of these floors turned to stone. Again, oh, I can do that at a later date. And if we go in... Oh, that's my Facebook blooping at me. That means it's time to go almost. Yes, yeah, so I actually probably can upgrade them. I just need the stone and the iron. Okay, well... I just remember the whole point of this video was the ore crate and I was going to just end off without completing it. Let's grab that. And now if we open, we have 17 lead in there. So we're going to put that in there so this box won't get emptied. Boom. And we can now continue to use the acid bath as storage. But I'm going to have to go back to Bravo soon because I am really running out, very nearly running out of acid. And let's throw that in there. And three will make one lead. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Five more lead there. And we just need to get working on the hammers so we can actually have ourselves that lovely statue. And I've worked this out. So in order to just even craft this, you have to have a tactical backpack. Because otherwise you will not have enough inventory slots to do it. So 20 slots for that. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. So you need 27 inventory slots. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Hello. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Huh. Takes 27 slots. Unless I'm wrong. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27. Um... Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. So, I hope you enjoyed 
the lovely gameplay of the ore crates. I am going to be doing a separate video about them as more of a guide on how to obtain them. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you have all enjoyed. Bye bye.